And finally for today's program, let's turn to David Shrim for a look at Adventist history. Welcome to This Week in Adventist History. All of us at the General Conference Archives wish you and all your family members a happy and blessed Christmas. On December 17, 1892, Walla Walla College opened officially with 10 teachers and approximately 100 students of all ages. These were enrolled in everything from the elementary grades through the college, but all under the presidency of the eminent Adventist educator, administrator, and theologian, W.W. W. Prescott. Today, Walla Walla University, as it has become, is led by another distinguished Adventist theologian, John McVeigh, and it now has some 1,800 students. On December 23 in 1910, Martha Ellen Seawood died in Shattuck, Oklahoma, 10 days after her 66th birthday. Born Martha Hall in Ohio, she had married Ebenezer Seawood in 1861, and the next year they had become two of the first Seventh-day Adventists in the U.S. state of Indiana. Martha was not content to be just a church member in the pews. She had to be active. She helped found the first Dorcas Society outside the U.S. state of Michigan, and as a friend later wrote, her life was one of Christian ministry to her neighbors, first in Indiana, then in Kansas, and finally in Oklahoma. So beloved was Martha Seward among her community that her funeral was conducted in a Methodist church. She lived a life so obscure by the standards of the world and even of much of the church that there is no known photograph of her. But as her life shows vividly, evangelism doesn't always mean preaching. Ellen White recommended Christ's method of being part of our communities. Martha Seward's life of service, forgotten today, provides an excellent example of total member involvement and of following Christ's example. That was This Week in Seventh-day Adventist History. 